Hi, I'm Travis Manderson, and along with my colleagues, I am pleased to present nav to goal vision-based goal condition policies for underwater navigation in the presence of obstacles. At McGill's Mobile Robotics Laboratory, we are developing robotic systems for scientific data collection, like coral reef monitoring. In this work, we present a visual navigation method that makes a trade-off between efficiently traversing a sequence of waypoints and collecting scientifically relevant data while not compromising on obstacle avoidance. In these scenarios, rather than traversing the sequence of waypoints directly, it is often more useful to record data of scientific relevance along the way. The method proposed in this work makes the following contributions. First, we propose to train a waypoint agnostic vision-based policy by sparsely labeling images collected by the robot with steering corrections from a human operator. This reactive policy combines safety and relevance of scientific data. It can be used for autonomous, reactive, visual navigation, staying over regions of interest while avoiding obstacles. Second, using state estimation running on board, we automatically build another dataset for training a goal condition navigation policy without relying on any additional human demonstrations. Finally, we demonstrate our system in a challenging open ocean environment with no GPS or known objects, poor visibility, and high currents. To begin, we train an initial visual navigation policy through behavioral cloning by labeling images with the action the user would make to cause the robot to avoid obstacles, avoid sandy regions, and visit interesting regions such as coral reef. From this dataset, we train a behavioral imitation policy to predict steering actions on the robot. In practice, we improve the controller until it achieves satisfactory performance by iteratively labeling new data and redeploying the policy on the robot for a number of trials. Although the behavioral policy allows the robot to swim autonomously while avoiding obstacles and visiting regions of interest, it does so greedily and is not able to visit a specific geometric region. What we want to do next is create a goal condition policy that allows the user to define a set of waypoints for the robot to explicitly visit, but still avoid obstacles and stay over regions of interest along the way. Following exploration trials, we make use of the dataset of images, actions, and relative position of the robot recorded using onboard visual odometry and augment this dataset to include waypoint goals. This allows us to train a policy that depends on a goal waypoint and navigates towards it while maintaining safety and considering interestingness seeking behaviors. To this end, we make use of a technique called hindsight relabeling to treat previously visited states as exemplified by the blue path as intended goals without asking the user to annotate scenarios of goal-dependent actions. This allows us to train a waypoint condition policy offline from a dataset collected by a waypoint agnostic but safe policy. We deploy the goal waypoint dependent visual navigation policy in challenging open ocean environments where a sequence of waypoints has been given by the user. Our goal dependent policy manages to trade off efficiency of reaching the goal for the opportunity to increase interestingness in the collected data. In these field trials, the resulting policy manages to record close-up footage of coral reefs of interest while maintaining roughly a constant distance from the reef. By the end of the deployment, the policy traversed nearly 40 waypoints safely. In addition to open ocean trials, we evaluated our system on a photorealistic simulator that portrays underwater environments. We use the simulator to better quantify the trade-off that our learned policy makes between efficiently traversing the sequence of waypoints versus recording scientifically relevant data, such as images of coral reef. As shown in the graph and by inspection of the trajectories, our policy, as shown in blue, collects a higher percentage of relevant data than a direct path policy while still reaching the intended goal. In conclusion, we have demonstrated the balance of avoiding obstacles, collecting scientific data, and reaching waypoint goals. Shown on the right is an example where the goal condition policy temporarily deviates from the direct path to the goal to collect images of coral reef and avoid obstacles. In total, we executed over one kilometer of safe visual navigation in the open ocean containing poor visibility, high currents and surges, and dense coral obstacles. And we did this while autonomously traversing four different 10 waypoint trajectories. And all this was done in less than two hours of human labeling. For more information, please check out our paper.